Hey guys, it's been a while since I've covered a Mods of the Week video, but it felt like a good time with Forge and Fabric now being on the same version. With it still being so early on, and a lot of people waiting for the winter update, the mods available for Forge are more scarce, but maybe that will change over the next few weeks. All the links to these mods can be found in the description below, and there'll be more Fabric mods listed in this video than Forge mods, as there just aren't many available yet. Before getting started, I thought I'd let you know that I'm using the Forge version for roughly enough items, as just enough items wasn't available when I was putting this video together. I'll leave a link to it in the description below, and for those of you who don't know what it is, it's a mod that allows you to see every item in the game, where you can quickly see its recipe or other recipes that item is used in. The Uncrafter is a block which can be crafted from an end crystal, two netherite ingots, a block of netherite, three end stone, and three prismarine, and it can be placed into your world. When you interact with the block, you can input items into the left slot and receive some of their materials from the right slot. Although, you should note that you can only retrieve a single ingredient, so placing a diamond pickaxe inside will only return you with a single diamond. Bone equipment will add lots of new items which can be crafted from bones to Minecraft. This includes tools, a sword, a full set of armor, and even armor for your horse. When you wear the armor, you'll look a bit like a skeleton, and overall, it's tiered to be slightly better than stone and worse than iron. Most crystal blocks will give you lots of new blocks to build from, using up to 64 different colors. To get started, you'll need to craft crystal stone, which requires stone and an amethyst shard. You can also craft a crystal chisel, which can be used on the crystal stone to switch it between different designs. You'll also need a color applicator, which you can craft from paper and eight crystal stone. When you throw red, green, and blue dyes onto the floor, you can right-click them with the applicator to store colors inside, which you can then use on the previously mentioned crystal bricks. Another set of equipment comes with the Copper Equipment mod. Now you'll be able to turn copper ingots into something more useful, like different armor and tools. It looks pretty good overall, and the stats on each item are almost identical to their iron counterparts. More totems adds a new totem, and it's called the Totem of Getting Out of Here. It doesn't have a recipe, instead, it's very rarely dropped by the Enderman. It should be placed in your offhand slot, and when activated, it will teleport you to a random nearby location, while also giving you the standard effect like regeneration. Horse banners make some changes to horses, with them now having a banner slot in their inventory. You can place a banner in here, and it will drape over the sides of the horse. I think it looks great, and it could be implemented into the vanilla game. Another mod that will change banners is Glow Banners. You'll need to start by obtaining Glow Ink Sacks, which can be obtained from the new Glow Squids. When you use the Glow Ink Sack on a banner, it will glow, with the changes mostly being noticeable during the night. XP Obelisk adds a few new items, with the main one being the Experience Storage Block. It has a complex recipe requiring some new items included with the mod like Experience Rods and Soul Copper Ingots but these can all be created from vanilla items. To use the experience storage, you'll also need the experience transfer item, which you can sneak and right-click to change it between the deposit and withdrawal mode. When you right-click the storage block with your experience transfer item, levels will be swapped between them. There's also an inspector item to see how much experience is stored inside, as well as a lock and key. A mod which I'm sure many of you will like is boiled axolotls. You'll be able to place a bucket of axolotl into a furnace, turning it into a boiled axolotl, which you can then eat, giving you an extra source of food. Teeny Coal adds quite a few new items, starting with Teeny Coal and Teeny Charcoal, which you can obtain 9 from a regular coal or charcoal, and they can be used to smelt individual items. There's also Teeny Sticks, Redstone, and Soul Dust. These can all be used to craft Teeny Torches, Redstone Torches, and Soul Torches. Consular's extra weapons and armor adds three new sets of equipment into the game. Firstly, there's the redstone set, which is tiered between iron and diamond, and can mostly be crafted using redstone dust. Next is the lapis set, which is worse than iron. And finally, there's the emerald set, 
which is the best of them all, and has about the same stats as Diamond. If you want to add some more items which are made from vanilla materials, then it might be a good option. There is also Better Copper, which allows you to use copper ingots in a variety of new items, like a set of armor, which offers the same stats as Chainmail. There is Tools too, as well as a sword which has 5 attack damage. From copper you can create doors, trap doors, and copper bars. Herbs, Extra Enchants adds 48 new enchantments into Minecraft, which can be applied to all sorts of items like armor, tools, weapons, shields, and horse armor. You can use Explode, which causes arrows to explode on impact when fired from a bow, or Ender, which causes you to teleport to the hit location. With Thunderbolt, arrows fired from a crossbow will summon lightning on hit. Magnetic can be applied to your tools so that the items gravitate towards you and into your inventory. If you add launching to the trident, then you'll be propelled with it. Leaping on your boots will cause you to jump higher. Enchantments can even be applied to horse armor to cause your horse to run faster and have increased jump height. So there's a wide variety of enchantments to obtain from this mod. Additional additions adds lots of changes, like rope which can be crafted from two string and allow you to easily ascend or descend from great heights. There's a set of rose gold armor and tools which can be crafted by combining gold items with copper ingots inside of a smithing table. And I'd say all these items are tiered between iron and diamond. You'll be able to craft a crossbow with a spyglass attached, allowing you to zoom in while scoping, which you can do by sneaking. The watering can should be used on crops, which can cause them to grow faster. There's more to the mod like amethyst lamps, the wrench, and some new food items. The Endless Cake is an infinite food source, allowing you to eat it whenever you want to replenish your hunger. It can be crafted mostly in the same way as a normal cake, except you replace the chicken egg with a dragon egg. The cake can only be placed down once too, so make sure to choose a suitable location. A new origin that was released is the Godling, and as this origin, you'll be able to always fly like you're wearing an elytra. Although, you'll take more damage if you hit the ground or other blocks with force. Your primary ability is Launch, which will send you into the air as long as you're not in the nether, whereas your secondary ability will change how you see the world. Another downside to this origin is that any time you're in the nether, you'll start to burn. On the opposing side is the Deviling. It has some similarities to the Godling, like how you can fly all the time and launch yourself into the air with your primary ability. Though instead of spawning in the overworld, you'll instead spawn in the nether, which is your true home. Anytime you enter the overworld, you'll start to burn, so it might be challenging to beat the game. You'll also activate your secondary ability to change how you see the world, with it having a more colorful tone. That covers this week's mods. Right now it seems like a good idea for Forge users to stick to 1.16.5, at least for a few more weeks, but I'll keep covering these videos anyway. So stick around to find out when I put more lists out.